This is what you have to do in case your iPhone battery is draining too fast. Some iPhone normally start getting battery draining issue after a system update. If that's your case, you updated your iPhone software. Let me show you what you have to do to get a fix. But in case you haven't updated your iPhone iOS system, don't worry, I got you. Okay, let's say you just updated your iPhone iOS system and now you are getting battery issue. What you gotta do, let's go ahead and open up the settings. Then let's go ahead and click on Wi-Fi and just make sure your iPhone is connected to any Wi-Fi network. So you need Wi-Fi to do this process, 100%. Now let's go to the main page. So let's go ahead and open up the App Store. Let's wait a few seconds until you see all the uh, content right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on your profile right at the top right corner. Scroll the way down and you will see all your iPhone apps. So what you're going to do, guys, you're going to update all the app that you see right here that needs update. The easiest way to update all the apps, just go to the top and you will see right here a button that says update all. Let's go ahead and click on that button and your iPhone is going to start updating all the apps. When you decide to update your iPhone iOS system, you also have to update all your apps, all the apps that you have on your iPhone. And that's because sometimes when you update the iPhone system, those apps are no longer compatible 100% with the new version of the iOS that you install on your iPhone. You know what I mean? So just make sure to do that and you will see that your iPhone battery will last longer. Now let's say that you don't want to update all the apps that you have on your phone. So just do this. Just open up the settings. Scroll down until you see battery. Scroll down and right here you're going to see the battery usage by app. So what you're going to do at least update the first five apps that you see right here just do it because maybe one of those apps is at the top because you know it's using a lot of battery on your iphone so if you want to update all your iphone apps just update at least the five first app that you see right here this solution also apply for people that haven't updated their iphone yet step number two you're going to force restart your iphone so that will fix any ios issue that you are having on your iphone right now draining the battery to do that's really easy what you're going to do you're going to press and quickly release volume up press and quickly release volume down then press and hold down the power button until your iphone turn off let's do it volume up volume down power button even if you see the action to turn off your iPhone, keep holding down the power button. All right, as you can see, this iPhone is off, but I'm still pressing down the power button. I'm going to let you know when you have to release it. Now you can release the power button when you see the Apple log, okay? So your iPhone is going to turn on normally. You will not lose anything by doing this. Just do it because also Apple recommends it, guys. Apple says that... If you're having any issue on your iPhone, such a battery issue, performance issue. Next, what you're going to do, let's go ahead and open up the settings. Scroll down until you see general. Let's go ahead and tap on the setting. Let's go ahead and open the background app refresh setting. So you will see all your iPhone apps in this section. Now what you're going to do, let's go ahead and click on background app refresh. So right here, you will have Wi-Fi and cellular data selected. Let's go ahead and switch that setting to only Wi-Fi then go back okay so now right here scroll the way down you're gonna see all your iphone apps what you're gonna do you're gonna turn off the apps that you don't use on your iphone or let's say those apps that you only use like two or three times in a month just turn off the setting because that will stop those apps to be running in the background using your mobile data and the battery just do it me personally i only have those apps that i really use the most so like for example the email app the facebook instagram those apps that i you know that i need to be refreshing in the background to get notification fast just but those apps that you don't need guys just turn it off all right let's jump to the next one what you're gonna do let's go ahead and open up the settings now let's go ahead and click on the icloud account right at the top tap on icloud now let's go ahead and click on icloud backup all right guys what you're gonna do right here turn off this setting backup over cellular turn it off and that's because sometimes or internet the internet that we have you know on the phone without wi-fi it's not enough to back up everything that you have on your phone, including pictures, contacts, any apps that you download on your phone, any type of document, whatever your phone start syncing on the iCloud. Sometimes the internet is not enough and what's going to happen is that your phone automatically going to stop the process and it's going to start again when the phone thinks that you are having really good internet. 
but it's not stable all the time. So what I recommend you guys, just turn off the setting and your phone is gonna start doing this automatically over Wi-Fi. As soon as you connect your phone to Wi-Fi, your phone will start syncing all your personal data, whatever document you have on your phone. Next, let's go ahead and open up the settings. Scroll down until you see the mail app. Mail app, let's go ahead and open it. Then right here, let's go ahead and click on account. Then right here, let's go ahead and click on fed new data. And what you're gonna do guys, automatically it's gonna be automatically. So that's the setting is gonna be on by default. What you're gonna do, you're gonna switch that setting from automatically to every 30 minutes.